Happy Pride Month indeed. Boom. Uh, do you have so like a, a stack of cards like you did for Black History Month? For Pride Month? Yeah. I do not. Okay. Um, I didn't not, know if you were going to give me facts. Not yet. Okay. <laughs> cool. Just checking. Just oh, getting my worry. mind right. Don't worry. I, I I got a whole bunch of facts just waiting just to throw them out like spades. Great. Fantastic. Uh, but we are not going to talk about that right now. Instead, we are getting excited for Hurricane Justified. Season? No, I, I already did my stories about hurricane season in the A block. I'm good. I got to say about hurricane season. It's here. Get ready for some hurricanes. 12 to 17 storms, probably four major hurricanes is what Noah's predicting. So that'll be fun. Is one of them going to be named Michael? I don't do know. Already, maybe. Or do, or do they already retire that? Did they already le release the names yet? Oh, yeah. The names are definitely are definitely out. Oh, I didn't know that. I feel like that comes out like earlier in the year, maybe February, March or something. Hmm. I feel like yeah. we should have covered that. Did you not? You, you know what? You probably did and you just didn't think about it. I, I feel pretty confident you covered it. I do. You I feel do. confident? I do. I worked it. I don't feel that confident. <laughs> there's no. There's too many people in that department that I trust that I, I feel like somebody would have brought it up. Too many? Portman's only got four people. <laughs> I said what I said. Yeah. That I implies like, more I, than one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I said, oh. I said. Uh, anyway, we we about to talk about Raylan Gibbons, y'all. Raylan Gibbons is back. Just the white man, the white man that does whatever he wants, and people love it. Isn't that all? I mean, probably, <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, this Justified is the one we comes like. out in a unique time. Oh, this, yeah, so this is the one we like. You, you're saying this is the one we like. <laughs> yes, Th this Justified comes out in a unique time in the world where just doing whatever you want on TV isn't always looked at with uh, all smiles anymore. How? There are more cop shows on now than in any other time in history. Right. And but what I'm saying is... And taking names. Right. But what I'm saying is they aren't looked at like, oh, this is the best thing ever anymore, like they were before. Uh, Elliot Stabler's got a show called Organized Crime where he'd just be beating up people. <laughs> um there's another I feel, show. I feel like there are more voices talking about this stuff now than there were before. Yeah, they're talking about it, but there's still a plethora of these shows. Okay. Like, granted, the shield isn't on TV anymore right now, but I guarantee you they'll probably try to find a way to get Michael Chiklis back in there to okay. do that show, which again on FX, uh also a very underrated show. Go check out the shield. Um but yeah, so yeah, you said you didn't. You never watched Justified, right? I know the I know the story. I know Walton Goggins was uh, his big bad. Um, I I like I'd seen like maybe the first episode. I want to say I've seen like clips of the show, and I know the beats of the show, but I've never watched it. I never got into it. But this caught attention because I don't want to say updating the show, but it's. Kind of like what you're saying, they're trying to keep up with the times. How does how does Raylan work in this climate and mm -hmm. up against kind of an ultimate evil? Okay, let's see. Raylan Gibbons, here we go. Now just listen to me. I'm Deputy U.S. Marshal Raylan Givens, and I'm offering salvation. Talk to me. Come on, face to face. I am not opening this door. Then, as they say in the Bible, you're screwed. Remember Bruce. Marshal, welcome to Detroit. Ah. Detective, meet Raylan Givens. What's up, Slim? It's Sturgill Simpson. This ought to be good. He is everywhere lately. Got That's a his task force with the Detroit PD. You've been special requested. I promised my kid we got a whole road trip planned back to Miami. Wasn't a question. Oh, wow. This guy left a trail of shit from Oklahoma oh. to Detroit. If he ain't got cash, we got ourselves a problem. Manziel shows up, bad shit is in the air. Yay! Any information on this dude could help us. 
Clement Manziel is my client. He's a killer, and he enjoys it. You do your job, and I'll do mine. Do my test. Don't, don't talk to me like that, sexy hey, lady. Hey, hey. No. There he is. Oh, are you supposed to be in that hat? Travis Tritt. <laughs> you know, you did a great job. She's very sweet. Sweetheart, why don't you head upstairs? I see you near my daughter again. I'll kill you. Right if I see you first. I ain't gonna sleep at night, this son of a bitch wins. I don't know what you think you're doing. I you wanna play. That's fine. You want a shooting match? Let's go. <laughs> there is just something so great about Timothy Oliphant. Oh, he's um, great. I like. I love his when he guest stars on stuff because he's just so out there. Um, yeah. I mean, you think about it. He was in The Mandalorian as uh, was it Cobb Vance? Uh, you got him in Archer. You had him in The League. As a, a he was white in the league? yeah, remember he was the white sushi chef where um oh uh, old okay. boy thought he had poisoned him okay and he really had appendicitis <laughs> okay yeah I mean Tim the Olafan is great like I I love everything he you know everything he's in I wish I'd have watched this and it makes me want to so, watch it but question honestly, then with this do we want to avoid spoilers for the original series yes okay. I mean, I, I will just say there's there is definitely a major time shift. Yes. Uh, from this to the series, and I'll just I'll leave it at that. But uh, yeah, this is this is cool. Um, what I will say is is that I think that's Boyd Holbrook. Um, he all and this is the thing, I like Boyd Holbrook, but he is cornering the market on being a typical bad guy. Like, and hey I man, say that, get, get, get your money. Here's the thing. I, I'm, I'm not. How do I say this? I'm, I'm happy for anybody who works. You know, people who are take a turn as a good guy every now and then. Like, so if you remember, he was a bad guy in, um, uh, oh, Netflix, Neil Gaiman. Sandman. Uh, mm. Could not remember. Uh, he was a bad guy in Sandman. He was uh, Pierce in Logan. Logan. Um, he was a leader of the um, the Reavers in Logan. I'm trying to remember where else he was a bad Like He plays a very good bad guy. Um, but I like him. I want to see him play a good guy. Uh he was a good guy because remember they built the movie the predator around him and they wanted that to be a franchise but ugh, that movie wasn't that good <laughs> wait um oh not the one on hulu the one before that yeah the, the one on hulu is prey remember the one before oh that? yeah 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 uh, the writer that everybody liked did uh iron man 3 Oh yeah, I can't think of his name now, but I know I know you're talking about. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so putting him in this to me gives this a a cachet, so to speak. Like this to me, Boyd Holbrook is somebody I could see going up against Timothy Oliphant and not being overshadowed. Sure. Because Timothy Oliphant's persona can be. You ever watch a show and you're like. Why is the good guy better than it? Like, there's nobody compelling to watch mm -hmm. because the good guy is just so smooth, suave, whatever. Um, and I think this Boyd Holbrook seems to be able to hold his own. So I'm, I'm wondering if we're <clears throat> going to see any returning people from the original show in this besides Raylan Givens. Probably. Now, here's a question. <clears throat> What is their relationship going to be like when they show up because of the time shift? Because here's the thing. One thing I always love about a time shift or like when you something like this happens, the relationships are different because mm -hmm. we don't know what happened mm -hmm. in the past. So that like that that gap. So like 
somebody who was a friend is now an enemy or they're on the outs and you're like, oh, I thought they were cool. Oh, no, he slept with your wife. OK, I get it now. But you don't you never saw those things. So I, that's going to me is going to be very interesting um, for those for those people who watch the show. I will watch this, though. Um, oh, this makes me want, so what? I said I will definitely watch it. Yeah, it makes me. So when you said this, the, the law man who gets to do whatever he wants to do, mm-hmm. you know what? What the, reminded me what what popped in my head? It just What's that? From, from Luther. Oh sure, yeah. Because Luther just does whatever he wants to do as a lawman, and you talked about the fact that Raylan Givens does whatever he wants. That's Luther. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I mean, no spoilers, but there are so many times you're like, you oh, you still employed with the marshals, huh? They didn't fire you? Oh, okay. Again. Everybody, just, everybody just kind of gives someone like, oh, that's just Raylan being Raylan. It's fine. Luther? This is Idris Elba. But I feel like at least with Luther, people are more like bad, bad. <laughs> like, he still gets to do his thing, but they're like, Luther, you could do better. Yeah. I, I mean, have you, wa- oh, have, have you watched the last, the last, the movie? The movie came out. Uh-uh. Yeah, you need to go watch that movie because that okay. the last three seasons. Yeah, I'm like, bruh, you need to be in somebody's prison. <laughs> <laughs> you and Raylan should share should share a cell. So this okay. So the girl that's playing his daughter in the show is his daughter in real life. Interesting. Good. Or at least, her. I mean, I, I assume Vivian Oliphant is related. Yes. Okay. Cool. Good for her. Yeah, that's cool. Now, here's my question for you. Mm -hmm. Watching this trailer, were you scared that... Because sometimes when a show is ended and then they bring it back, Arrested Development, um, it's not as good, right? And you're like, we should have just let this go. Do you feel like that? I am in a unique place because much how... I watched Lost in the course of like three weeks. Mm -hmm. So when the last episode wasn't as great as people wanted, it didn't hit me as hard because I didn't spend so much time on it. Mm -hmm. The same way with Justified, I watched the entire show over the course of maybe a month or something on Hulu. So I I really enjoyed it. I really like it, but I didn't spend years upon years of whatever. So to me, this feels like what I saw before. It, It feels like Raylan doing whatever the fuck he wants. And we're all along for the ride, which is hmm. which is kind of what the show was. Interesting. Um, I, you you definitely had strong characters, like you had Walton Goggins, and you mentioned him being the big bad. I think there were some other bads that creeped up, but again, I won't spoil it here. But there are some other people that popped up too. But definitely, Walton Goggins was one that he kind of had to deal with over multiple seasons or whatever. Yeah. Um, but I feel like here you're going to get people that are going to challenge him a lot. Anjanu Ellis looks awesome. Um, please don't ever sit on my desk and talk to me like that in that, in that voice, lady, because that's that's trouble. You could be like, in HR. Yes, I'm like, no. <laughs> what what's happening here? Because I'm I'm misreading the situation. I'm sorry. You're a beautiful lady. Don't talk to me like that. But you'd be um, like, okay, I will sign here and here. Okay, don't yeah. do that again. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> she started um, it, sir. <laughs> right. But yeah, Andre Ellis looks awesome. Um, I don't know the two men, the the guy you brought up before, the name. I don't know. I don't. I'm not familiar who with who that was. Oh, Boyd Holbrook. No, 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 not the bad guy, uh, the black guy at the top. You're like, oh, um, he's in a, he's in a bunch of stuff. Oh yeah, but I, I don't know who that was. Who you said it was? Oh, uh, okay. Um, so I'm not familiar, but this looks cool. One thing that I don't see in this mm-hmm. that maybe you wouldn't see unless you saw in the show. Mm-hmm. The show was actually very funny at times. There was a lot of humor in Justified. I didn't get any humor in this trailer, and maybe again, it's only it's a two minute slice. So maybe you will there will there will be more comedic elements in it. Not that it was like slapstick or anything, but there were definitely funny elements to justify. And I don't necessarily necessarily see that in this. I see. I I, I don't have. Qu- I think in the beginning you did see some of the humor, and he was like, you know, I'm I'm here for salvation, and he's like, well, just like in the Bible, you're screwed. I think that's a little bit of the humor that you're alluding to, but I think. I also think that they're trying to maybe not give away the humor. And I think sure. part of the true, the, the 
to a certain extent, the humor was situational. Like you had to have watched the show to get that humor that they were trying to express. Whereas this, it seems like they're trying to rally and maybe get a different audience. Mm -hmm. Like, in other words, they already got you. You're mm -hmm. a justified fan. Mm -hmm. Justified Primeval, they're trying to get me, who is not a fan, trying to watch this. So it seems like the trailer is set up differently to catch a new audience. Okay. Yeah, I could see that. So, because like, again, if you've already seen the show, you already know what you're in for. Yeah. You're already in. But if you haven't seen it, and this is your first introduction, again, you're trying to set it up like some of these other shows that are on, like I just talked about. You have the Elliot Stablers. You have um, What's Old Boy from um, Chicago PD. Then you have Bosch on Amazon. Then you've got, um, I'm trying to think of some other ones. Um, but those are the big ones. I don't know any of the CBS shows. My in-laws watch them all the time. I should know these people by now. The Blue Bloods shows? Blue Bloods, yes. Um, yeah. uh, the the Wahlberg. Danny? Yeah. Donnie? Yes. Yeah. One of them. Um, One of so them. you have you have the Blue Blood show. You have, you know, you have these shows and you're trying to basically kind of walk thin line of blue swab, but he also has a family life, but also he'll kick your ass if, if necessary. But again, we live in this climate now where we're not letting police just do whatever they want to do, but you still got to sell the show. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be interesting. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm interested. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, let us know if you watched the original when it came back about whenever it came out, or if you watched it on Hulu now that it's all there. Came out in um, 2010 to 2015. There we go. Okay. Ah, so, what? okay. Just thinking time-wise of stuff with how stuff, whatever. Okay. Uh, yeah, you know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell so you know we put up more videos. Uh, be sure to follow us. YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, Twitch. Uh, we should have some more videos coming up because there's a bunch of summer gaming stuff happening within the next couple of weeks. So we'll sure to be doing videos on that and reactions. Summer Games Fest. Then also you have the Xbox Showcase. Then you, Ubisoft has a, a day where they're going to be announcing stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Nintendo has something coming out. In the, is it the fall or is it still the summer? I know they have a big thing coming up. Uh, they haven't announced their latest Nintendo Direct. They haven't announced, but they said they were going to have one this year. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but they haven't said because I know it's in person because they said they want people to be there to play whatever that they have coming out. They say it's not hardware. They keep saying it's not hardware, but they have said that they're going it's there's going to be space for people to try out whatever they have. So, OK, there we go. Uh, until next time, folks, we're out. Peace.